What's up guys, welcome back to AV. Today I got a review for you on a new mech mod from Purge. It's gonna be on the, the Detonator <clears throat> Aluminum Limited Edition. Let's get into it. purchased and picked this up for the purpose of this review uh it's not going to change my opinion i bought it so uh purge mods you guys know purge they came out with a lot of different mech mods uh they now they came out with the detonator 21700 aluminum and brass uh the aluminum is a limited edition i think there's only 100 made and it comes with the purge xrda which is a 28.5 millimeter in diameter with an aluminum matching top cap. Yeah, buddy. The mod, I'll, I'll give you all the details down low. So let's do that. Let's dive down. I'm gonna show you the detonator mech mod, uh, do a voltage drop test, take the button apart, all that good stuff. We're all gonna also gonna do a little build montage on the IDA. Why not? Come back up top, pros and cons, final thoughts, sit tight. What's up, guys? We're at the close-up of the Purge Mods Detonator Aluminum Edition, Limited Edition. Typical uh, Purge packaging, right? Detonator LE Aluminum. I got serial number 007, baby. All right. Open it up. Going to get a <clears throat> certificate of authenticity booklet. All right. Lines up with the number. All right, so here it is. <clears throat> the uh, detonator. Aluminum, 21700. All right, it's made out of aluminum. What else can I tell you? It's a copper side-firing spring-loaded button. This is hand-engraved by Matt Hagerman. Hand-engraved. Check out that button right there. All right, it's made out of copper. Hand engraved. Nice skull on there. This is detonator. All right, it's 28.5. It does come with the uh, Purge X RDA 28.5 millimeter aluminum matching RDA. Only 100 of these made as well. Comes as a kit. All right, we'll look at that later. It's hybrid top cap. Threads are, are uh, pretty good. If I take the Purge X RDA, that's 25. That's what a 25 would look like. See, there's definitely uh, room. I'll show you later what the uh, uh, aluminum looks like on top. So hybrid top cap. All right, and then on the bottom, it does say Liberty or Death. It's got the really cool Purge Mods logo on there, number 007, a triple O seven. All right. And then it says, uh, in Purge We Trust. <laughs> Pretty cool. It says in Purge We Trust. So I like this um I like where it cuts out here because it fits really nice in the hand where it fires. Right? Uh, you can get brass as well, um, and then I've seen some pictures where they had a they had a uh, matte black coated one, which I asked about if I could get it or if they were making it. Um, <clears throat> I didn't hear anything back, but then I saw a picture of a matte black, so uh, I really would want the matte black. But holes for ventilation up top, ninety degree angle, which is good. All right, and then this is the firing button. So, uh, good threads, okay, all aluminum. And then you have the button. We're going to take this apart, and I'm going to show you what's up with that right now. So, what you want to do is just, you can literally, uh, what is that? 
unthread this, right? This is just like a Delrin piece on there, copper. Pull that out. And then there's just a copper tube. And if you look down there, there's a spring inside of this mechanism that goes into the spring, right? Pull that out. And then there's the spring that sits inside. There's the spring that sits inside. It's a very firm spring. And then that's the housing. Not it's it's pretty simplistic how they did it, but it's hard to get you gotta get this in the back section of the thing. Oh, it just fell in nicely right there. Right? So that's good. So then you have the button. It's a copper piece. It's hand engraved. Delrin on the back. All right. I'm just going to throw that back in. So after you get that spring back in there, get that straight up like that. And then you just take this piece and then you screw that back in. And it's a firm throw. It's an extremely, in my opinion, it's a really, really firm throw. I wish it wasn't as firm. Especially with like, you know, it, it is pretty firm. All right? What left to do a voltage drop test on it? All right, for reference. All right, here we go. Let me get the RDA ready. Four point one nine vamp ADA like I've usually been doing. Here we go. Three point four five. Three point four six. Three point four six. 0.7 voltage drop. So it's about 0.2 uh, more. Maybe it's probably because it's aluminum, but yeah, that's not the best number. Um, it's just not. 0.7 is pretty high. Uh, 0.63 on the King Slayer, 0.78 on the Titan, 0.57 on the Oculus, 0.54 on the Guillotine, 0.61 on the Rock Vape. You know, the clutch was 0.57. Um, so, yeah, 0.7, not so good. But here we go. So we got the Purge XIDA 28.5. Right? So it's 28.5. These numbers aren't going to match up. Uh, the deck is kind of the same deck, but the outside they made aluminum to fit, which I thought was kind of odd. Uh, they only made a hundred of them, so I I'm surprised they didn't just. I don't know why they didn't link up the serial numbers, unless they're trying to make a 28.5 or a 28.5 came out after. I don't know. I don't remember a 28.5 coming out, but I think there might have been. Anyways, um, yeah, we're going to throw a build on this bad boy. And uh, it does have, what I like about this, it does have more airflow on the honeycomb uh, compared to the 25. You know, if you look at the 25, bigger holes on the honeycomb and more of them. So, yeah, buddy. Uh, we're going to do a build on this, a little montage.
I'm going to put some James Muckley coils in here. And I am going to go up to uh, 27, 36, and 90, 3 millimeter aliens, 0 0.09 for a dual coil. Let's get it. Back from a close-up on the Detonator Limited Edition Aluminum. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. Ooh, looking pretty. What I got to tell you about this Detonator Mech Mod? Uh, there's some pros and cons. Let's just jump into it. Pros and cons. Let's go over the things I don't like first off. All right. Uh, the first thing I don't like is the firmness of the button. It, it, it's an extremely tight button. Um... And I've noticed there is kind of like hot spots, not hot spots, but yeah, not hot spots where it, like you have to hit it in a certain spot, you know, um, to get the best connectivity out of it. Like if I hit a dead on center, it doesn't really do it for me. I have to hit like the, the right side, like the right eye and push in. It's it's spring loaded side fire, which I haven't really seen that before, to be honest. I showed you it's like a Lee spring. I showed you inside, it's very small, and I think that's the reason why the button's extremely firm is because of that Lee spring that they use. It's really small in diameter and it's short and it's that Lee spring style. So um if you had to pick between too firm or too loose, I think you'd rather pick uh, too firm you know over too loose but uh, i have noticed that that um i have to hit it like on the right side you know if uh, for somebody else it might not be extremely firm i feel like it's a lot firmer than a majority of the you know mech mods out there that are spring um or you know it is like i've noticed like my index finger and my middle finger that i use to press it over time like my fingers hurt me like damn what the hell's going on it's because it's extremely firm and it's cut, it's engraved. So they're not like shop or anything like that, but it could be because of the reason maybe I think it's just cuz it's too firm. So that's just uh a couple things I wanted to mention, all right? Um <clears throat> besides that, any other cons? Well, the voltage drop, let's just jump into that one. It's 0.7 
uh, voltage drop with battery sag and atomizer sag. Now, this is just for reference, as you guys know, but I want to reiterate and make sure I communicate that across for anybody watching this that hasn't seen my reviews. Um, 0.7, I showed you down low, uh, is, is not really um, the best number that I've gotten. Um, and it's an aluminum mech mod. Uh, I feel like, you know... I feel like aluminum's less conductive than brass in copper. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, but the numbers are the numbers. So, um, yeah. Besides that, those are like my cons, right? The button. Let's go over some pros. The button is extremely easy to take apart. I thought I saw a video on Facebook. I forget who did it, but it looked kind of uh maybe a little bit difficult to take the button apart and put it back together but it's actually not like there's a back section a bottom section of the of the the button where the the spring just lives in and then you just stick it in you line up the hagerman engraved which is really dope on the button and then you kind of you just you put it in and then you tighten it down you make sure it goes through that down run hole tighten it down you're good to go extremely easy to take apart put back together so i like that, you know, can, can, comparing it to other side fire mechs that were like spring loaded, like the, I didn't use the, uh, what was it? Not the Damascus, but uh, Domingo, Domingo mods. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. It was one of the first side fire mechs that came out. This was years ago. And then they came out with the, uh, uh, man, um, broadside mods came out with the, I can't think of the name, man. I'm I'm getting bad at remembering the names of everything. Was it the Brizo? I don't know if it was the Brizo. The side fire mech. It had a crazy clutch mechanism system that happened inside of the button. It was extremely, you know, there was an elastic, like the whole nine. Um, I've never, the, the moral of the story is, I've never seen a side fire spring-loaded button that's so simplistic. I mean, there's literally a spring the copper connection that touches the battery is actually going down, and then you're pushing the... It, it, it's like three pieces. That's it. <laughs> so um, I really like how they did that. I really like how the, it was simplistic. It's some ingenuity going on, so I do like that. That's a pro. Uh, it feels really nice in the hand. That little indent section right there, it makes it sit perfectly in the hand. And uh, yeah, buddy. Now, the RDA, it's got more airflow than the original Purge XRDA as it should. It's 28.5 millimeter diameter. I like that the honeycomb's got more airflow so I can run the honeycomb and close it down and get the vape that I want. I felt like on the Purge X RDA with the honeycomb airflow top cap, I wouldn't get enough airflow that I wanted. It was very, very close to being exactly what I wanted, but it wasn't. It was a little, a smidge too restrictive. This one... It's not. It's more open, so I can close it down and get the exact vape that I want, which is right here. I have about two or three holes closed off on one side. And the vape's really nice. Very easy to take the battery out and put it back in. You just screw it on and then screw it off. That's the tension. I like that. Uh, very easy to do. Pro. Um, I love the engravings on it. I love the name. I love the the, the, the lettering that they used. But another thing I need to mention is that, like, in the lettering, there's, like, that black stuff. Um, and I wish that that black stuff wasn't in there because it kind of... Either I wish the black was in there across the whole board, you know, across the whole detonator logo in the back. But um, it's not. So it looks kind of like... I don't know. It, it just... I wish it was more cleaner. Maybe clean... I don't know what that is. It's residue or, or what, but... I do wish that was all taken out or it was all black, you know, so it would look kind of, kind of cool, but it's hard to read the, it's hard to even read like the, the in purge we trust on the bottom because it's got that black stuff in there. So it's hard to read. So that's just another thing I wanted to mention. Um, I don't know what, I don't know if that's quality control or, uh, I, I don't know what it is, but I wanted to mention it. And, uh, now I did. Chucks very nicely. I mean, a 0.5 to a 0.7, which is 0.2 voltage drop difference. I mean, I do notice there's a difference. I do notice a little bit of voltage drop on this. 
it's not crazy. It's not like uh, out of this world voltage drop, but um, I do notice it. And, you know, it's aluminum. So that's why, you know, aluminum's just not more conductive. I don't care what the numbers say. I don't care what it says on Google. I've been voltage drop testing. I've had a couple aluminum mods, and I've always noticed that the aluminum mods hit not as well as a brass and definitely not as well as a copper. So just keep that in mind as well. But overall, I think the thing's really dope. I like that. I, I think they look really nice. I think it's built well. I think they did a good job on the aluminum. The threads are really nice. I like how they innovated on the button. Very easy to take apart, clean, put back together. There's not a lot of moving parts in it. There's not a lot of things that can get lost or you have to get confused on where that goes, where this goes. It's pretty straightforward. It's super simplistic to put, to put back together. And the hand-engraved fire button by matt Hagerman, man I, I i really like that as well like it's pretty damn dope and i like that it's copper you know it's copper with aluminum i think it looks good i think it adds a nice little touch to it don't know what else to tell you about it it's 425 uh retail um i i don't know if they're all sold out they could be at this point um you can get a brass and i feel like they're gonna be coming out with a matte black uh in the near future because i saw matthew Cleso. Shout out to you, brother, the owner of uh, Purge Mods. He, um, I saw him post a pic of a matte black with a copper button. Uh, and I asked him before I, I picked this up. I was talking to David Gunn. Shout out to you, brother. I asked him if they were, you know, could I get a matte black? And he said, I think we were talking specifically about this one. That, um, you know, to coat matte black and aluminums, you know, not really like uh, you can do it. But I didn't know that. Like, then I saw a picture after I got a, of a matte black. Uh, detonator and I was like oh man if that matte black tube detonator came as like brass under or copper copper would be ideal and then having a matching 28.5 uh, X RDA on top that is matte black as well like at all and matching like whoo gets a thumbs up from me um, Smooth airflow, great flavor. You guys know, good flavor on the Purge X ID. I was going to throw those, uh, I got some J-Boy, not J-Boy, J, J-Boy, J-B, J-B coils. <laughs> he, he he sent me the um, .06 mirrored alien, like 26 gauge by 37 gauge. It was a .06. I wanted to put it on here, I just... I thought it, I was going to do it in the build montage, which I thought it was a perfect time to use those coils. It just, I don't know, 0.06, man, it's low. I, I don't really, I'm not really repping a 0.06 on a regular. You know what I mean? I, I don't even, I don't recommend it or condemn it. Um, I just, 0.06 is too low for me, too hot. So I did the 0.09s, and these are perfect, absolutely perfect. Perfect warmth, everything. Yeah, that's what I got for you today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay juiced up. Screw lighting up. Don't waste your bandwidth. Not being subscribed to the channel. Leave a like, share, subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about the detonator. And uh, if you would go aluminum, if you would go brass, if you would go straight copper, or if you would take like a matte black. Let me know in the comments which one would be your favorite. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one, man. All right. Peace.